Now I'm gonna dance. Now I'm gonna eat vegan food. Yes, I love it. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna watch Henya Menya, a full day of vegan eating in Tel Aviv, Israel. Let's do it. Good morning, maniacs. This is Henya, and morning. welcome to another video. This video I wanted to make because I'm feeling a bit down, and I kind of wanted to huh. um, vlog, <laughs> regardless of that, and kind of show Why? you what I get up to. You know, living in Israel, eating vegan food, and stuff like that. So if you guys are ready, let's stuff get this like video that. started. Wow, super motivated. You can see it right off the bat. She looks vibrant. She looks young. Jokes aside, she looks absolutely horrible. It's very, very sad to see. I believe that Henya is in her 20s. I'm not too sure. She looks like she is 40, especially the skin quality. You can see there is not much collagen left. It is very sunken. She has dark circles around her eyes, very pale lips. All of those symptoms are signs of deficiency. Let's get this video started. It's the Hemme. music. Ah. Ah. Tone it down. Ah. Jesus Christ. Why do they always use horrible music for their advertisement? I'm gonna have ah. this vegan banana bread I made yesterday, which Great. came out looking so good. And I'm so having good. some coffee. <laughs> this is like a mix of, of decaf and like caffeinated. Fantastic. All right, let's cut it right there. Coffee and banana bread. In this case, vegan banana bread. Regular banana bread has at least a little bit of eggs. This banana bread has nothing but carbs. Processed carbs, yet again. And because that is not sufficient energy, she needs to drink coffee with it. I talked about this numerous times, guys. If you want to drink coffee, guys, so be it. I myself sometimes do drink coffee. But coffee is a poison. You're poisoning yourself and then you're secreting adrenaline as a stress reaction. By no means is this a healthy habit that you want to keep every single day. I'm, you know, trying to cut back on things that cause me anxiety, but I still need a bit of, like, caffeine in the morning. <laughs> and this is with almond Terrible. milk. Terrible. And I'm just gonna have it in my nice little balcony, which is so messy at the moment. But I love it so so much like i love spending my mornings here and i believe you feel so much better look at all right great so she has anxiety but she loves it so much like all the vegans we love our life and if we repeat it often enough then we're gonna believe it ourselves and maybe we can trick our viewers and maybe they will believe it as well you can clearly see that she is absolutely depressed due to her deficient diet we have so many success stories of people that reclaim their health and their sanity on carnivore or keto Genic diets every single time it works like clockwork it is magical if you remove those plant toxins you start feeling better if you are already anxious it is of course not a great idea to drink beverages that will secrete more adrenaline which is a stress hormone she needs to stay off it completely eat meat and heal i love spending my mornings here and it makes me feel so much better look at this fucking tree man look at it so much better than what that already means that you are not well at all i need to do this to feel better i need to do that to feel better you are depressed it's a christmas tree next to my like in my house because it's like part of my house okay i'm gonna eat now bye jesus christ help me What is this? What am I watching? So, I... Damn! Alright, that wasn't creepy at all. Anyways, aside from the beautiful dance there, we can analyze her body composition. And you can see again, you are what you eat. You're just storing the energy of the carbohydrates as fat. This happens to all the vegans over time. Now you will say, but Bobby, she isn't fat at all. She is super trim. Yeah, if you compare her to some sort of standard American dieter, then maybe so be it. But what we can see here is the 
pale, vegan, skinny, fat look. Yet again, you do need protein to build your body. Muscles, skin, bones, everything, and especially the hair here. If you eat only carbs, you will lose the muscle and you will become a skinny, fat vegan dancing in front of the camera. Shake it, girl. No butt muscle left. Totally flabby. Oh, but don't judge her. Don't judge her. Yes, I will judge her. She's pointing the camera at herself. She can be judged. She is exposing herself on the internet. We danced a bit <laughs> to Shakira Shakira. Oh, uh, yeah. And I got ready. <laughs> That's what that was. Put on some makeup uh, and I put on some clothes. I'm going to a cafe nice. for this meeting that I am like she's so depressed you can see the suffering and guys I say it on every single video it starts funny and then I become depressed watching this I need steaks raw eggs steak tartare to recover from those videos it is absolutely sad to see this human suffering it is all self-inflicted why do you do that to yourself you can see the suffering in her face she is not happy uh, now I'm gonna do this now I'm gonna dance now i'm gonna eat vegan food yes i love it it's, it's a thing i'm doing wow. i'm starting coaching why and the whole point of that meeting coaching is that you <laughs> on what to uh, uh, coach people into um coach people into coach into people to i don't to know what uh, uh, but uh. i'm gonna teach people how to do a youtube channel and I posted on my Facebook that I'm okay. vegan. You want to have a successful to... YouTube channel? Follow Henya Menya and learn from her. Start a YouTube channel that I can help them for free. Mm. And at least uh, for free. Have more people like make vegan content, at least in Israel, because it's really lacking. It's just me and a few other girls. Is it? I'm going to meet at this cafe, a vegan girl that I've known for like. Okay, Henya, in case you're watching, stop for a second and reflect. Why do you want more people on the vegan team? I assume you're an animal activist, you want to see less animal suffering. That is great, that is fantastic. I have a solution for you that will reclaim your health and you will save more animals. The answer is carnivore, grass-fed carnivore. Simple as that. You, as a girl, would live of maybe one, two cows per year tops. If you're eating vegan, on the other hand, you're eating all of those processed carbs, those processed crops, you are creating monocultures that destroys habitats and millions of animals. Ever, and I'm gonna coach her. So hopefully that works out well. Uh, I'm feeling slightly better. I did uh, some work. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. That is um, fantastic. Actually, she uploaded one YouTube video. Great job. You feel a little bit better because you drank some caffeine. That is all. Like getting on schedule and stuff and like... <sighs> Did you hear that yawn? Here it comes again. Like getting on schedule and stuff and like... <sighs> getting on schedule and stuff and... <sighs> this comes deep from the soda plexus, stress hormones, thyroid dysfunction. This is what you hear here. If you are in tune with your body, you can see right through those people. None of the vegans are healthy. All are stressed out and depressed. Sad. The scooter, and I'm gonna drive around, and then I'm gonna have fun. Go to the cafe, maybe. I'll eat okay, something. maybe you will. Maybe you won't. Who knows? The vegan Ow. life is a mystery. Because in the Can. Yeah. Can. I want to go Oh. Vegans do have a cat obsession. It's really weird that they always keep carnivores around. Here without getting into an accident, even though I was pretty close. And I'm here with Adi. Would you like to say hello? Hi. Hello. <laughs> you are so gorgeous. Oh, I'm so Thank excited. You. We're here. We're at Shizen, which is like a vegan restaurant. And coffee we just shop. got. Yeah, coffee shop. And we got the most delicious looking breakfast <laughs> super delicious that looking sandwich what's in that sandwich tell us i'm not sure i think it's like a le who cares she's not sure who cares what's in it let's eat it veganism is the healthiest diet anyway Lentil, mm. um omelet yes and this is a vegan omelet. egg salad in a croissant and we got some coffees as well we both drink de decaf mm. so that's good that's great let's do a little cheers mm. cheers, cheers. Woo. 
great day. Have a great day. Yeah, sounds like fun. Super awesome. Again, egg replacements, right? One is made out of lentils and the other one from whatever. Who cares? Vegans do not know anything about nutrition. They just care about the taste. And this tastes a little bit like animal foods. Why do you still crave animal foods? I know that Henia has been vegan for at least seven years or so, maybe even more. Why do you still crave eggs? <laughs> Very good. I don't think you guys can hear me, but I'm here at I the do. rock, like in front of the beach. And it's so beautiful, you guys. It's like so relaxing and just, oh, I love this city. Uh. Makes me feel so much better. <laughs> so much better again vegans always need to unwind always need to relax always need their morning rituals starting with lemon water then rose water then detox coffee enemas then a long extended bath after that a yoga session and whatnot and because i'm still stressed out i have to go to the beach and look at nature and calm down that vegan life you know i felt like going to the beach after the meeting and just relax for a bit so i'm gonna sit here until I am starving and I'm gonna get my dose of vitamin D, so I'm excited for that. <laughs> Maybe that. Ooh, you go, you go. Oops. Almost. Uh, what the fuck? This is disgusting. Absolute self-obsession. Look at my side boob. Hey, don't you think I'm looking cute with those glasses on? Because I do believe that I am looking cute. So therefore, maybe others will like me too. From this position, with this makeup, with this lighting. Like me, please. I am <coughs> back home. And I'm starving. I'm also really Vegans thirsty. are always starving. Um, so I got myself a bottle of water on the way home and now it's so dark. Let's get back to it. I'm uh. making some food. I literally dreamt, of, dreamt about this thing like last night and I'm like, I'm gonna have to make this. <laughs> so I am making some uh. Uh. Like stir Get to it! Red pepper. I'm gonna add in some tofu. Tofu, that is the first protein source of the day. The breakfast had only carbs. The egg sandwich was made out of lentils, had only carbs as well. But lentils are packed with proteins. No, they're not. Lentils have very little protein, especially in comparison to how much carbs they have. And then you pair it with the lectins. You shouldn't even call them lentils. Make it simple and call them lectins. Anyways, now she has her first portion of protein. The first high quality protein source ah, is tofu. That is as good veganism gets. Soy is a complete protein source comes with phytoestrogens, but who cares? Uh, potentially some greens, not sure which ones yet. And I have a box of, how do you call it in English? Bulgur? In Hebrew. Bulgur. Anyways, grains agitate your gut lining. This leads to anxiety. So this is really constructive criticism. Dear Henya, if you would replace those grains with meat, you wouldn't trigger your gut lining. With that, you would be healthier mentally healthier give it a go we call it bulgur and i'm gonna chuck it in there <sighs> as well don't and it's gonna be delicious with some soy sauce and some sriracha more soy and some rice vinegar so so hungry wow this actually you looks are. amazing i'm gonna put some greens on top of that i have some in case you're wondering why vegans are always starving, it is a micronutrient deficiency. When people say you can get everything on a vegan diet, they're talking about the macros. You can get some carbs, obviously, you can get some fats, some oils, and you can get some mediocre proteins. That is correct. However, if you're lacking micronutrients, you will be constantly hungry. Your body is signalizing you that you are missing B12, D3, DHA, EPA, and whatnot, but you interpret it as red regular hunger. Therefore, you go back to the kitchen, eat more bulgur, more lentils, more whatnot, and you're still not satiated and you are depressed. Some mint and parsley. 
<sighs> it's green. Must be healthy. The thing. Oh. Peasant food. Wow, that looks amazing. Pinoco. Not really. <laughs> you are still Another pinoco. carnivore. Look at that. Oh, so lucky. So, I'm um, not sure how this went out. I still haven't tasted it because I don't taste things that I cook, I cook while I cook them. So, let's see. It's gonna be amazing. I think this might need some hummus. Let's see. Everything needs hummus. Dairy equivalent. Equivalent. Wow! Ooh, I can't believe it. Yeah, hundred percent. Not sure what it needs though. <laughs> it still needs something though. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'm really, like annoyingly full. You know that feeling. And um, no, I actually don't know that feeling anymore. But I do know what you're talking about. When I was a vegan, I was annoyingly full. However not satisfied not satiated not happy depressed just like you have been there for four years this is why i make those videos so people don't go down the same rabbit hole and maybe some people like yourself get out of that trap it is so sad to see now you ate all of those grains now you're bloated you're not happy you're not energized you're just depressed and full just changed my clothes into cinema outfit because we are uh, going to watch the Joker in cinema. The Which Joker you guys is vegan. I know how much I love cinema. And I'm not a big fan of like Batman stuff, but I heard it's like a it's like a good movie for mental illness <laughs> representation. Anna. That's okay. why she's interested. This is not even funny, man. Again, this is just sad, but it is comical because all of this could have been prevented. This is self-inflicted. Before veganism, I was a happy guy. Through veganism, I got so depressed like never before. Everything is dreadful. Everything is dark. The cup is half empty. You feel horrible all the time. It could have been prevented with a good steak. Can you not do that, please? Would you like to say hello? Uh, no! I'm here with my flatmate and I automatically have the Hebrew accent again. <laughs> fake, fake laugh. So super fake. They're all running on adrenaline. Now I feel a little bit of energy. <laughs> All for the camera, don't you see? I'm feeling so so good. To the cinema, and the sunset is so uh. beautiful. I'm just waiting for like, like a like a little bit of you know, spot without any buildings, so I can show you guys. But it's kind of like a bit difficult. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. Everything's so beautiful. Life is amazing. No. Guys, we are currently, currently. <laughs> in Rishon Lezion. <laughs> currently, we are in Rishon Lezion, which is a city next to Tel Aviv, which I'm not a big fan of, but I've never really been here like many times. That's not proper English. I haven't been here that many times. Yes. So um, we're on our way to Cinema City, just like a cinema uh, thing. Okay. What I really love about this place is that they have. A shit ton of dinosaurs <laughs> and it reminds me of Palm Springs. She's so cringy probably without even knowing it. I hate people that are not self-aware. They do not understand how they're coming off on camera. It's very very sad. I fucking love it. So hopefully I'm gonna <sighs> take a picture. Iris, will you take a picture for me? Yes, yes? with the dinosaurs but uh, before the sun okay, goes Okay, we get it. Want, uh, you have an exit if you want. Cool. Uh, I told you we need to leave early. Here's a parking spot. And look at all the dinosaurs and Robotrikim. How do you call Robotrikim in English? Transformers! Iris, Robotrikim in English. Transformers! Oh, great oh, mind. I can't do it anymore. Come on, <laughs> get to the point. This really oh. reminds me of that movie that I Yeah, it's great. Oh, hi there. <laughs> wow. That's the true face. Always coughing, always sickly. Hey, um, just wanted to kind of like end the vlog and say a bit. That was of it. Thoughts. Already. 
on Joker. Honestly, I'm not even sure if I can articulate anything about that film. Like I literally walked Why? out of there and started crying. I had to lie down on the floor and I had so many thoughts and I was like, this is just so crazy. I was never <laughs> into, you know, Batman stuff, but now I'm just like, shit, I gotta watch like all the things now. <laughs> it just explains like how you know, someone with issues is being ignored his whole life and how it, you know, ends up being like this, you know, villain. Yeah, but thank God we have YouTube nowadays, so you will not be ignored. It's an amazing world we're living in. And it really humanizes the villain, you know, in a way. And, um, yeah, it makes you, like, be on their side, like, for <sighs> once. Difficult movie. Definitely good. Would recommend. Yeah. Um, I got back home, I was like having this terrible stomach ache. I went to sleep at like 10. I cannot make this shit up. I cannot make this shit up. This is unbelievable. You're depressed, you're bloated, you have stomach ache, and you don't understand that it is your diet. I already see the vegans in the comment section. Yeah, but people get depressed, it has nothing to do with their diet. Don't you see? She is bloated and has belly aches. That is only the diet, nothing else. Now it's like midday, so I slept <sighs> good. And I might eat something and finish this vlog, so um, that would be it. Just cut my Super job. vibrant yet again. That poor girl is completely drained of her energy. There is no youth in this face left. Look at her. She looks like a 40 year old woman, like a 40 year old alcoholic. So, um, that would be it. Just cut myself a piece of what cake. What the hell? Cake. From Hoffman the Baker in Give a Time. You know when people say, yeah, the vegan diet isn't the best, however, it is better than the standard American diet. I would disagree. At least you're getting some quality protein on the standard American diet. What is she getting? She's eating cake and egg replacements, nothing else. It is all processed carbs. Chocolate crunch cake. Great. And I made myself a coffee. Yet again. With almond milk. You who? And I'm sitting on my fantastic balcony. Groundhog Listen Day. To new movie <laughs> soundtrack, which is like you cannot fake a chuckle. I know vegans try in every single video. You cannot fake a chuckle. A chuckle is organic. A chuckle is natural. You might be able to fake a smile, <laughs> but you cannot fake a chuckle. That is impossible. One of my favorite things to listen to in the winter. It's raining a little bit, so that's like really nice and chill so that will be the end of this vlog so thanks so much for watching and thank you subscribe and all that stuff and no. see you next video love you guys maybe Bye. thank you that was very convincing i bought that kiss i do believe you that you love me this woman has no capacity to love anything we as humans, we are carnivorous beings. If you remove our natural diet from us, aka the animal foods, we lose all compassion, we lose all empathy, all humor is gone. What is left is an awkward, angry, hangry being with identification issues, depression, anxiety, and whatnot, aka Henya Mania. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. We have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef, deliver to your doorstep butcher boxes for you and we have cbd links as well on top of that guys consider supporting bobby's perspective through subscribestar or patreon we have a vip community there where we have skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic no matter if it is health lifestyle or nutrition related on top of that by joining you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide it is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals no matter if you're keto primal paleo or even raw all right but this is it thank you very much for your support guys and as always much love and peace